Squiggly lines are interesting. Let's talk about squiggly lines. With that massive corruption video, I was casting a wide net. Yes, it was a deep dive, but because of the sheer amount of different things that I needed to cover, I wasn't able to fully investigate the origin of all of the corruption claims, so I focused mainly on deleting Sims, since that was always the biggest topic of discussion in the Sims 2 community. But there was one thing that was still bothering me. The squiggly lines. Where do they come from? What caused people to believe that they are a sign of corruption? That was the only major mystery that I wasn't able to solve during my research. Well, other than NPCs and their effect on corruption, but don't worry, I'm working on that. So if you heard anything about the squiggly lines in The Sims 2, you probably know that there are supposed to be two types. One is the squished need icon, and the other one is this stretched out missing texture icon. Now, the claim is that these lines are just an innocent bug in the game that could be caused by custom content or when a sim is stuck by an invisible object. And these are supposed to mean corruption. Or more specifically, memories and gossip about the missing sims. I have an announcement for you guys, it's not true. <laughs> well, there is some truth to that claim, but overall it's very misleading. But don't just take my word for it, I have evidence. Okay, so you need to know that when I was recording the footage for the corruption deep dive, I have tried everything to make these scary corruption lines appear. I have conducted so many experiments, deleted so many sims, I have even manually purged all memories from remaining sims and left only those relating to dollar subject so that they can't think about anything else and still nothing. I heard that they might be caused by custom content. And I have a lot of custom content. Try it with it or without it, our PC launcher or no launcher, my actual PC or a virtual machine, still nothing. But then, after I uploaded my deep dive video, I realized that there's still one more thing that I haven't tried yet. I haven't tried the unpatched base game. I realized that I still have the vanilla base game on my VM left from when I was testing whether the 1000 character file limit is true. Spoiler, it's not. So I fired up the base game and followed my standard routine. Create a family with no connections, generate some gossip memories, delete a character file, go back to the game, gossip. And then I finally saw it. So it turns out that there's three types of squiggly lines. You've heard of the squished need icons, you've heard of whatever this is, now get ready for... When I saw this, I nearly fell off my chair, because I have seen this before, years ago. You know when you see something and that suddenly unlocks an entire chain of long lost memories in your brain? That's how I felt. You might remember that I included a footnote about one neighborhood that I potentially lost to corruption, but it was a long time ago and I mentioned that it wasn't even my computer, right? Let me fill you in with a little backstory so that it all makes sense. When The Sims 2 first released, I was 10 years old. I had the base game literally since the day it came out because I spent the previous 6 months or so begging my parents to buy me this. My dad was reluctant and he had a good reason to be fair. He looked at the game specs and he was like, I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you, but your computer isn't powerful enough to run this game. The RAM was mainly the problem. Yeah, the minimum requirements to run the base game was 256 megabytes of RAM and I didn't even have half of that. Can you imagine that nowadays? The Sims 2 was beastly at the time it came out. But I was like, I don't care, I'm gonna try anyway. So my dad was like, fine, I'll buy you this stupid game, but don't come crying if it doesn't work. 
So I installed it on my wooden PC and it worked, kind of, but it ran like shit and it was barely even playable. I couldn't save the game half the time and most of the time it was just a slideshow. But then I remembered that my best friend had this shiny new computer that was just powerful enough for The Sims 2. I lent him my copy of the game and we spent hours and hours playing this together. I discovered very quickly that you can move sims between the neighborhoods. So I told him, hey, what if we bin all families from all three neighborhoods and move them into our custom neighborhood so that they can all meet? You know, sort of like a crude version of Megahood. We played this neighborhood for a while and soon we noticed that some of our sims disappeared. You know, dollar subject and all that. Since it was such a long time ago and it wasn't even my computer, it's hard to say why this happened, but my theory is either overpopulation, since let's be real, it was a 2004 machine, not exactly top of the range, and overpopulation can indirectly cause character files going missing. Here's my Reddit post explaining this in more detail. Or it could have been the antivirus. I remembered that he did have an overzealous antivirus that wouldn't allow him to install university because it was blocking the update at the end. So it's possible that it has also messed with the character files. But back to the dollar subject memories. We noticed those dreaded squiggly lines, right? And they would appear every time the sims were talking to each other. At the time, we didn't connect it to the missing sims at all, we just thought it was a spooky bug. And then eventually that neighborhood would stop loading, so we abandoned it. And then I finally got my own computer where I installed base game and university, and I never saw those lines again. So this thought bubble is essentially this. And I have seen this one very briefly when doing my corruption related research, but because I was playing on a piss poor resolution as a kid, I didn't really recognize it. It's the squished interest icons, not the squished needs. I conducted more experiments in the base game and it turns out if you have memories about a missing sim, you will see this icon when the sims are gossiping or chatting, so the speech bubble essentially. However, you will see this icon in a thought bubble. For example, when the sims are using the computer or when they're just walking around thinking. So whenever people say that these lines don't mean corruption, well, it's kind of not true because these are actually the ones that appear above sims' heads whenever they're thinking about someone who went missing. My conclusion was, it is true that you will see some form of squiggly lines whenever you have missing character files in your game. However, if I can see this in the base game, but not in the unmodded ultimate collection, then I can only think of one reason why. It's been patched out. I installed Apartment Life on top of the base game just to double check if it wasn't removed in only the ultimate collection, but no. The squiggly lines wouldn't appear during gossip in base game plus apartment life either. So they were removed in one of the expansions. Which one? Well, there is only one way to find out, isn't there? I fired up my VM and set up the goth household so that I can easily test it. Cassandra is smitten with Don and wants to get hitched. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, Cass, I'm sorry. I added Don Lothario to the family, made him piss himself, not because I'm mean, but because that's the easiest way to trigger a gossip memory, and then deleted his character file. Final check in the base game, yep, squiggly lines are still there. My plan was to install every single expansion pack, one by one, in order, and then load up the goth household, make Cassandra gossip, and see whether the squiggly lines still appear. God, I forgot how annoying it was to install this game back in the day. No wonder people were so stressed about game corruption. Uh, what do you mean? I already restored the backup of graphic rolls. Thankfully, I didn't have to do that much installing before I found the answer. University installed successfully, but it wouldn't run on its own. It just wouldn't. 
I tried everything. It kept complaining about a missing CD, and before you say anything, I'm a 90s baby who grew up in Poland, okay? I know how to deal with this kind of stuff. Trust me. So I skipped that one and installed Nightlife. And the squiggly lines were gone. And they weren't there in any other version of the game after that. I've checked just in case. So the squiggly lines that actually indicate some form of corruption, i.e. a missing character file, have been patched out of the game and you will only be able to see them in the base game, possibly university. If you play the Ultimate Collection, any squiggly lines you see will not have anything to do with any missing character files. Why did they patch it out? We can only guess. It's not mentioned in any of the patch notes and mind you I read all of them, so either they didn't think it was important or it's possible that the removal of squiggly lines has been a side effect of some other code change. Who knows? Now, here is the big question. Can the corrupted gossip spread around the whole neighborhood? Yes, it can. I know that I said in my previous video that I couldn't make it happen no matter what, and seriously, I don't know why I didn't manage to trigger this situation during my test. Clearly, I must have been doing something wrong, but here you go. Here is Brandy Broke itching to tell everybody that non-existent Don Lothario has in fact pissed himself. And yes, I did spread that corrupted gossip to every single sim in Pleasantview. No, my game didn't blow up. I couldn't even get it to crash. Not a single object error. Nothing. So whilst corrupted gossip does seem to spread in every version of the game, regardless whether the squiggly lines appear or not, it doesn't seem to be causing any major problems. Not straight away at least. So that means that you have a lot of wiggle room to fix this kind of stuff. It's still bad practice to leave them lying about in my opinion, but Hood Checker will flag those for you. Gossip memories are marked as invisible in the error log. Those are the ones that can actually spread. But April, I hear you say. I have seen those lines in my ultimate collection. If it's not bad gossip, then what is it? Well, in a nutshell, it's the game telling you that it can't find an icon for something, so it displays a placeholder. That's a good thing, because otherwise it would probably crash. Let's examine a few possible scenarios when you might experience this sort of bug. If you do a Google image search for The Sims 2 squiggly lines, you will notice that on most screenshots where these lines appear, the sim is complaining about being stuck. It's not a coincidence. Normally, when the sims are blocked by something, their thought bubble will indicate what that is. Whether it's a piece of furniture blocking their path, no accessible door, dodgy terrain, etc. However, they can also be blocked by invisible objects, which are sometimes left over after certain interactions that reserve tiles, especially if the interaction is interrupted due to an error. Since the object is invisible, it doesn't have an icon, therefore squiggly lines appear. This is a known bug in the game. Here is an example of a mod The Sims thread describing this very thing. Basically, due to a newspaper delivery person erroring, some tiles became unusable and The Sims couldn't use objects placed in front of them, complaining about the squiggly lines. Here is a brilliant response from Chris Hatch explaining why this sort of thing happens. Stack object remover would have told what was being deleted. Knowing what the things are would go a long way to figuring out the cause. Several actions slash interactions will lay a reserve tile marker and should either delete it or mark it for self-deletion when complete. If the action errors out before completion, then the reserve tile marker is left behind. I had a similar thing happen in my custom dorm due to a kicky bag, because that's another interaction that reserves some tiles. Basically, the game didn't release the tiles properly for whatever reason, and that resulted in me being unable to place objects in that area. I haven't noticed any squiggly lines, but it's very possible that I just didn't notice them since I play on speed 3 the whole time. I have heard that certain custom content can also cause these lines to appear. 
I have never been able to replicate this, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was the case, especially with the super high poly HD texture piece of furniture. Since the game is having trouble with displaying high poly custom content in certain situations. This is one of the possible reasons why this thought bubble might appear when a sim is just walking around and thinking, since sims do randomly think about objects in their house sometimes. Another situation where you might see those lines regularly is when you own a restaurant and the customers are browsing the menu. In this situation, the sims are normally thinking about different types of food that are available on the menu. However, a few dishes don't have an icon for whatever reason. For example, chocolate clusters, crinkle cut chips, lemon lime soda or root beer. Because of that, sims will get the placeholder squiggly lines when thinking about those. What about those squished interest icons? Do they also appear in the newer versions of the game? Yes, they do, under very specific circumstances. Let's go back to this image that I found online, it's been posted on Mod The Sims and, of course, people have said that it's definitely corruption. Alright, I have my doubts, so let's examine the picture instead. We can see snow in the background, which means that this person has seasons, so we can definitely rule out an unpatched base game, right? But let's read what they actually say. Uh-oh, I have just recently spent a couple of weeks trying to track down the reason why I had two lots crash on me every time I tried to load them, and I walked by with squiggles. When asked what he wanted, I made him selectable, and there was nothing listed other than this. So I assume they mean they saw blank one slots, right? You might see some people claiming that this is also a sign of corruption, but as with many supposed corruption symptoms, this is also just an innocent bug. Essentially, this can happen when the game doesn't have enough triggers to generate wants and fears for a specific sim. This is most commonly seen in toddlers since they're new sims and haven't accumulated this many triggers yet, or townies and NPCs since they're not playable sims and they receive a default bare minimum set of triggers when they're generated. Certain mods that affect want generation can also cause this, such as adults go steady or fewer hobby ones. Anyway, I saw this explanation and I was like, okay, I think I know what's happening here. <laughs> Vitcont curious, you will be my test subject again. To simulate blank want slots, I went into SimPE and deleted everything from Vitcon's want tree, leaving only fears and a lifetime want. I opened the curious household to verify that the want slots are indeed blank, but then I realized that in order for the ask what do you want interaction to appear, you need to be able to form a romantic relationship with that sim, it won't work with brothers. So I decided to use myself in this experiment, because apparently me and Vitkund are a perfect match according to the quiz I took recently. I invited him over and asked him what he wanted. Look at that, squiggly lines every single time. You know why? Because he has no wants and the game displays a placeholder icon, simple as that. Alright, so what about this blurry image thought bubble? You know, the one that's actually supposed to mean corruption. I have an announcement for you guys. These squiggly lines, this blurry image right here, is not a sign of corruption. I am 100% certain of that. It's just a plain old, regular ass bug in the game. And I have finally managed to replicate it. I'm not entirely sure where that this is corruption myth came from, but I think it's because this image has been uploaded to the Sims wiki forever as an example of squiggly lines and the person uploading most likely didn't know that these are not the squiggly lines that result from bad gossip and on the telephone game went. Okay, so context. I wrote a comment under my deep dive video in response to someone asking about the blurry lines. Here it goes. Oh, the squished need icon is a very common occurrence in my game. I have never seen the blurred image though. 
Now that I think about it, the closest thing that I've ever got was an empty thought bubble whilst chatting on the computer. And that happened in the clean hoods as well, where I haven't deleted or moved any sims. I wonder if this could be the same thing, but it shows up differently in different versions of the game. Regardless, I still think this could just be a random bug. Turns out, I was very, very close. This blurry missing texture image is a bug in the game that you will only see when you have apartment life, but not free time. Yes, it really is that specific. That means you will never see it in the Ultimate Collection. And that also explains why I've never seen it, since I've always been so obsessed with The Sims 2 that I have never skipped a single expansion pack. <laughs> so why does this happen? Well, I have a theory. It's not a coincidence that all of the images of this bug that have ever been uploaded to the internet include a sim chatting on the computer. Because it looks like this is the only situation in which this bug occurs. When a sim is chatting on the computer, the game displays various icons in the thought bubbles to indicate what that sim is chatting about. These can be memories, and they often are. They can also be random sims from the neighborhood, and they don't necessarily have to be the people that this sim knows, they can even be random NPCs. But the most common one is the interest icon. They can display normally or crossed out if the sim has a low interest in that particular subject. The interest icons were working just fine all the way up to Bon Voyage. But something happened in free time which made those thought bubbles appear empty sometimes. Now it's very hard to say what's actually causing this without access to the source code, so take this with a grain of salt, but I think it must have something to do with the new hobby system. Each hobby also has a set of icons associated with them, and they can and are being used during conversations. They appear during online chatting as well, but I think this new interaction might have required recategorizing some of the icons, and I think it's possible that some of them weren't mapped properly, hence why you sometimes see the empty thought bubble. The point is that they updated the online chatting interaction to include hobbies. Now, when you install Apartment Life but don't have the free time expansion, the game is still using the updated interaction, but because hobbies don't exist unless you have free time, you'll see this. Essentially, the game is going to display the missing texture icon whenever the interest icon is supposed to appear. I've tested all possible configuration. You can have just the base game and Apartment Life, or all expansions but free time, doesn't matter as long as you have apartment life but no free time. It appears only when chatting on the computer, but it can be replicated every single time. Every family, every neighborhood, corrupted or not, doesn't matter, it always appears. You can create a squeaky clean neighborhood with no sims at all and you will still see it. It's not corruption, it's not custom content, it's a bug. Here is an example of someone asking about those lines on Mod The Sims. Look at the expansions this person has. Nightlife, Open for Business and Apartment Life. No free time. They've also mentioned that it happens to all of their neighborhoods. This poor person was so worried that their game was corrupted that they decided to reinstall their entire game and apply all of the patches. And the problem still persisted because the only thing that would remove those lines would be installing free time expansion. So it looks like the Sims 2 community kinda got this backwards over the years. As in, these lines are just a completely innocent bug, nothing to do with corruption. Those and those can indicate corruption, but only in the base game, well definitely before nightlife. In any newer versions of the game, they just mean a missing texture, which is caused by various harmless glitches. I think The Sims Wiki needs another update. Just saying.